Hey everyone, today I'm going to be using Ideogram and Canva together to create some pretty good creations. So let me go ahead and show you what the deal is here. Uh, Ideogram is a software where you're able to generate images. Ideogram came on the scene, became super famous because they have the ability or they train their AI to have the ability to kind of conquer the space of text. Right, so text generation. And you could see kind of how the software looks. This is how it looks, it looks great. Uh, these are other generations that you're seeing that other people have made. Interesting image right here. Uh, we'll put that to the side. But um, anyways, the, uh, the, whole kind of, the whole kind of platform in general is quite interesting and has a different style of how images are made. And it's pretty simple to use. With that being said, today I'm going to show you how you can use it with Canva. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I need is I need some generations, some images uh, that I've made. And specifically, let me actually see here the um, every kind of generation I have here on private. And I wanted to use, let's say, hmm, let's see, let's see. I want to use something simple. Uh, let's go with this image. This image is a good image. I uh, went ahead and created this image live on my last YouTube video. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go ahead and check out that video. But this this shirt is a good shirt design. The only problem is the text, right? And part of the reason why you want to use Canva is so that you can actually fix the text. So the first part here is I'm going to hit download on this image. And I'm going to just click on these three dots, hit download. Now, Ideogram's current edit feature doesn't actually allow you to really truly edit text. If you go over here and hit edit, there's not much I could do, you know, here. At least not that I know of. Um, not much I could do, you know. I could use this marker feature and like paint over it, but this is not ideal for me. So I could take this. This is one option. I could take the image and I can upload it into Ideogram, okay? So I'm going to go over here. And take the image that says stay cool. And I'm going or I'm gonna go into Canva rather, take the image, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit edit photos and I'm going to click grab text. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing this is it will separate the text from the actual image. Now, in my case, there's only two lines of text. There's this one and this one. So the thing that's nice about Canva is it can match the style of the font that is previously presented. So let me show you here. This style of font definitely looks like it has some grunge on it, but at the same time, it's uh, it's like this thick, bold type font that you guys can see, and that's what it shows here. So here, I'm gonna remove the word, the, the, the double Y here, and I'm gonna spell it correctly. And I just kinda want to keep a similar style to this. So this has a color, or it has really two colors, and this has one color. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily use that. I'll definitely match the background to the same color, right? So let's just say I make the background here the same color. I'd actually have to make some edits there to be 100% truthful with you guys to make it uh, ideal as to where I want it to be. But I'll take the word stay, for example, and I'll go to effects. I'll hit, you know, the curve effect, maybe kind of curve it a little bit more. Like kind of like that, right? It says stay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look back at the original once again, just for idea purposes. And the word cool, I'll make it a little bit larger, kind of like that. And what we can do is we could either leave it the way it is. We can search for grunge here and we can add some grunge right on top. So for example, I take this grunge paste it here, move it to the front position, right? And just kind of place it around the text. So something like this, something like this here. Let me get rid of this circle. Didn't mean to add that. And just a little bit right there. And so that's grunge right there. I could do the same thing down here. Now notice, I think these are two different fonts. Let me go ahead and click here. Yep, they're two different fonts. I personally want them to stay about the same. So here, this is the Open Sans Extra. This is New Bold. I'm going to use Open Sans Extra. Let's go ahead and find it. Uh, open Sans, Open Sans Condensed. Let me use Open Sans. I'll scroll down. Extra Bold. There we go. 
and let's go ahead and move it right there take some of this grunge and just place it here and here okay and the image is kind of decent if i really wanted to have different color could i potentially add color by like the different text effects so for example if i was to click on this cool button hit effects select this outline and maybe like select the orange that's within here i could do that um is it necessary it's not necessary but it's it definitely keeps the style and i said this before about ideogram but the best opportunity to use ideogram in is just to get ideas for different designs get your brain working see different ideas see different styles and create them you know that's kind of one of the benefits of having a software like this that is literally trained on creating different types of t-shirt style designs so super super simple tutorial but this is how you can match canva with ideogram to create a superpower in a way and i highly recommend I'm, i don't get paid to say this but i highly recommend most people use canva it's a software that i use currently for all my image uh generation um or excuse me all my t-shirt print on demand design style images that i'm generating that i'm making and um yeah that's kind of what i stick to now so thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you guys later if you have questions leave them in the comments down below i'll see you guys soon all right peace out bye